Welcome back guys, we're at another state park. This time we're at Lake Anita. Uh, I'm already here at camp. I just got done kind of cutting the rest of the video for you guys. So if you guys enjoy the video at the end, leave a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and uh, see if we can crank this right up to a thousand. I'm gonna be doing state park stops all summer long. So hopefully the state park that you're looking forward to seeing is gonna be next. So there are, I don't know if I, I might have already told you this. So we're at shelter number eight. And this shelter is just a standard open air shelter. Nothing fancy about it, nothing special. Um, I mean, you can do whatever you want to. It looks like the, the uh, barn swallows and the swallows and the sparrows and that kind of taken over but I mean that's kind of par for course too though you know it is it, this one's right off of the dam it's right off the spillway right off the roadway it's a little bit of a hill to get up to the car but you can have a uh, barbecue out here you can sit down and relax and uh, enjoy your time out here and this one's the furthest one out of the middle of nowhere gosh there's Man, there's uh, goldfinches and bluebirds. I've seen a lot of bluebirds. That's surprising, but I see two male goldfinches. There's, uh, you're not gonna see them, but they're right over there. So there's a couple bluebirds that were in here. Um, they've also got some, looks like chimney swifts and barn swallows. Just kind of flying, I mean, there's a lot of nature out here. So if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, come on out, check out this shelter. There's eight of them all the way around the park. Some have electricity, some don't. Check out the registration. I always leave a link in the description below. So you guys want to go ahead and click on that type in Lake Anita on the registrations and check out the options they have for the shelters so let's uh let's keep moving along okay I, I, I wanted to correct myself I said that that was a split tail swift it's not actually it's a purple martin purple martins are flying in and out of here and then there's there's plenty of little birdhouses around here uh, but it's a purple martin I'm so I apologize I just wanted to cut it in and say oops <laughs> stupid before you guys beat me up on this in the, in the comments so purple martin lots of them there's a bunch very pretty now they have a lot of off-road parking or parking can um fishing and whatnot and it looks like right over here on the other side of the road there's more so this is this is the main part of the lake over here there's access. I mean, they've got access all the way around this lake for fishing. I'm really kind of regretting not bringing my fishing rods with me. Oh, wow. Cool. I'm going to actually, hold on, guys. I'm going to stop and get a picture right here. There are some buzzards on a tree sunning themselves. I'll make sure I put my vehicle in park. So, all right, hang on. I'm going to put that picture right here. Okay, so I made it to Fork in the Road. So shelters one through five are straight to the west, and then you take the left side of the fork, and it'll take you to six, seven, and eight. So I'm here at shelter one. I know there's electric, so it's gonna be interesting. Is that one of these shelters, I think it's actually six, has got electric in it. So there's, it's very basic. Now this one's actually handicap accessible, ADA accessible. So there is parking there. There's a ramp, a ramp, a, a path, sorry. But it's ADA accessible here. So this is shelter number one. So if you're interested in shelter number one and maybe you have somebody that needs a little bit of a smoother path to get to the shelter, there you go. 
good parking right up there. It's uh, I'm parked horizontally. You could probably park, I don't know, 8, 10, 12 vehicles in here. So for views, not much of a view for the lake. So I guess if there's a downside to shelter number one, that might be it. The view's not bad. Hey, guys, the view's not bad. It's pretty. Just kind of wish there was a little more of a view to the lake from number one. You can still see the camping area off in the distance on the other side of the lake. So this is pretty good. Yeah, people out on motorcycles. So this is shelter number one. I'm going to drive around. I'm going to take a look at the rest of them, you know, two through five. And uh, I wanted to show you this one because it is handicap accessible. Uh, this is the first thing I saw. So I was like, hey, that's that's good. So they're thinking, they're trying to think of everybody. That's the way it should be. So, all right, hang tight, guys. I know this is kind of, kind of repetitive, but it's important. I'm going to bring you stuff if I think you need to see it. It's a state park. Hey. So sidebar, I've been driving around the park, and I can see, like, this, this, these two dead trees over here. They must have done a massive burn, or there was a fire here, like inadvertent fire. This is a lot of burnt trees here tons and some of them are burned up really high now I, you can tell that it really grew up underneath that so it must have been last spring last winter I don't know maybe if you guys know put it down in the comments below when was the burn off all right here we go Okay, and like I always do, I try to let you guys know if there's a beach, and there is a beach here at the Lake Anita, and it's actually pretty good size. And apparently the water's warm enough that you can already be swimming. So they've got the buoys out, they got the barricades out. They do have sand volleyball. I would walk down there, but there are ladies down there actually sunbathing. I'm not trying to be weird. So just keep it proper. But either way, uh, the beach is open. There is buoys out for the boats to make sure they don't get too close uh, to the swimming area. Man, this isn't actually, this is not a bad view, just honestly. Look at this view, guys. There's a fishing pier that I was not able to show you guys. I was actually going to stop on the way back, but I'm parked up here, as you guys may or may not be able to see. But the road actually kind of twists and turns around. This whole place is just, it's, you can get anywhere in this lake at all, by road or by path. But there's a huge fishing, you guys see that? Huge fishing pier, right there. Handicap accessible. So again, if you have anybody that needs a little help getting down to the water side, you can do it right there. So that's actually really cool. Restrooms all over the place. And uh, so if you got kids and they need to take care of that business, they can't. But there's the beach. I'm gonna head back up to the truck. Okay, I am at the I am at the main boat ramp and main boat docks. And in the interest of not completely freaking people out, I'm not going to just walk around. Um, there are plenty of people, including kids, out here. So they do have boat docks out here, and the boat ramp is pretty good sized. There's lots of people out here. There's lots of folks putting the boats in and out of the water. Looks like they do have some new gravel down, or getting ready to put down new gravel, which is good. So they have fish cleaning station right over, over yonder. And I think there's actually, there's a second boat, dock, or boat ramp too that did have a cleaning station as well. So that was pretty cool. So let's uh, let's be friendly and wave at our friendly DNR officer. So, <laughs> and uh, they do have a restroom right here too.
So there, there's there's been trees T-posted in, like all the way around on this half. There's one over here on this side of the truck. There's one over there on that side of that truck. Sorry, there's this one, there's that one. There's a bunch, all actually all the way through this camping area. So maybe they had, uh, maybe the derecho took out some trees or maybe they just died off and they had to take them down. But right where I'm at, there's no trees. So I'm gonna, for the first time since I've started camping this year with you guys, I'm actually gonna hope for a little bit of cloud cover. Like right now, there's actually a cloud going over and I'm fine with that, so. Um, I know I've so far I've complained a bunch about the wind, the rain, the clouds, the cold. I can't complain about any of that stuff today, except for the sun. So I'm going to complain just, just a smidge. I'm not complaining too much about it. So just a little bit of cloud cover, I'd be a happy guy. Like right now, it's great. This exact moment. So I have got on the menu today. Uh, something I did before I did at Walnut Wood State Park and it's actually going to be um, beef uh, wait a minute beef stew and I actually have corn corn on the cob that I'm gonna try cooking as well so beef stew I'm gonna do with gas um, my uh, my fire my fire pits looking a little weak kind of kick back at an angle it needs to be dug into the ground a little further but um, I'm gonna get a fire going tonight I am gonna chill by the fire and my camp chair and my green picnic table but I'm lakeside guys check this out I'm lakeside So that's nice. That's pretty. This is a nice lake. I'm going to throw the drone up here and show the, uh, the camping area here where you can bring your camper to. Um, the uh, primitive camping is actually quite a ways away. Uh, if I get footage of that one, I'll be. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'll be surprised. But it's there, there's a lot of primitive camping there. And it's exactly what it says. There is a restroom, there is a shower house there, but it is, it's on hills, it's on, you know, whatnot, so. But uh, I'll throw the drone up and give you a, a view of what this camping area looks like real quick. It's, it's in a horseshoe design, so just expect that. one heck of a day beautiful so what is it 72 degrees I don't have my phone <clears throat> so I figured it's not I don't know if it's stew it really does look like soup though but uh, beef and vegetable soup a little bit warm for that Especially at 75 degrees out here. But God, it's gonna be so good. I don't even care. My mouth's actually watering. And as a side, 
We've got a couple things actually. So as a side, I uh, got a couple things actually. I got my summer shandy, but man, I was really feeling fruit cocktail. So I guess I'm gonna kind of treat that like my dessert. But we've got corn on the cob. I don't know if this turned out. I really. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm used to boiling it and uh, making it over the fire. It just kind of throws me off. So I'm hoping. Ow, it's, it's definitely hot enough. So I'm gonna let that cool off while I have some soup and uh, I'm gonna enjoy this. this yet I forgot my corn poker things I might have to wait a little bit longer Uh, I slept really well and it is first thing in the morning it's only 60, 60 degrees so I, I'd call this probably the low low for the day it's day nice I'm not gonna lie it's pretty good But uh, I have got to get out and get going. Let's see if I can get my shoes put on here. I'm tired. I slept really good, but I think that I'm tired just because I wanna I wanna stay in bed. Now, actually stay in bed and not get up. 61 degrees is perfect. The low got it got down to 55. So that turned out to be a good balance inside the truck. Got the Canadian geese out there. Oh man. All right, so in review, let's do in review real quick. What do I think of Lake Anita? Lake Anita. Hey, it's pretty good. Uh, there's lots of lots of footage. Footage? There's lots of acreage to do things. Lots of prairie grass. Lots of um, trails. Uh, the fact they have a, a, a paved trail all the way around is... I like that. Not that I'm going to walk it, but probably should I'm a fatty but anyway they have a paved trail all the way around it um, eight shelters there's uh, what was it 100 178 uh, acre yeah 170 acre lake so there's plenty of fishing to be done um, So there's plenty of fishing that can be done. You know, whether you're on a boat or on the, on the bank, there's lots of shore. There's lots of shoreline all the way around this thing. All the way around. People, I mean, they actually cut it. So you're not guessing where to go. 
Um, camping amenities, I think they're pretty standardized. They're spot on with what they have. Um, wish I had a little more time to look at the primitive camping site. But that's that's okay too. But lots of electrical camping, full hookup camping. Um, there's three tiers. You know, I'm on the bottom tier. I'm closest to the lake, which I actually like to do more often than not. Uh, I did use electrical last night for a fan. Um, for a couple reasons, and I'm. First reason, because I like having that white noise. But second of all, I just wanted to move the air that was inside the camper, or inside my topper here. Um, but I left the heater at home, didn't need it. It was really good. Uh, there was a constant patrol of the uh, grounds. DNR officer and um, the uh, campground host. He was, he drove by three different times. So looks like they're making sure that you're camping, making sure that you're paid and uh, making sure everything's okay. So that's a uh, good security. Close to town, Lake Anita actually right over my shoulder that way. So if you need supplies or anything, you can jump in town and get them. Or if you want to go to the tavern, you can. Uh, but that's, I guess, in review, not a bad lake. Um, it's just more of a, hey, I'm going to sit back and relax and chill and type of location. I mean, you're not going to be riding Ferris wheels or anything like that goofing off. I mean, you, they got the lake, or the lake and the, the beach. You know, okay, so let me, I guess, in review. If I had a complaint, the beach is a little a little bit far for my liking. I would think that the beach would be closer to the campgrounds. Instead, it's on the other side of the lake. So I guess if there's a bitch or a complaint about that, uh, anything, it's going to be that. I mean, maybe they were going to actually make the campgrounds closer to that at one time, and then they changed it to where it is now. I don't know. But anyway, Lake Anita, Iowa. Uh, lake, uh, anyway. Lake Anita, Anita, Iowa. Um, yeah, it's good. Come on out and enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it's a little bit choppy, but hey, I had fun making it. I had fun getting out of here. So I'm gonna start. Pack, I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna get heading home. So uh, until next time, guys. We'll see ya. Thanks for coming.